Okay, so welcome back. Today is the day I'm going to uh, try to take the transmission out. Um, never had a transmission out of this car before. Looks fairly uh, simple. Read the manual just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Uh, but yeah, got to drain the fluid um, and see if I can undo the bolts and get this thing out. Shouldn't be too terrible. Hopefully not anyway. But uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so. Oh, here we are. We're underneath the car again. And I just did a little preliminary inspection here. Uh, yeah, those bolts weren't real tight on the pan. So I'm going to try and drain the fluid. Um, I might put a bag over the tailpiece to uh, just kind of catch anything that comes out. I'm going to get rid of the parking brake cable. It's not working anyway, so I might as well just pluck it off. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can drain some fluid. Uh, yeah, I kind of wiped up. Tried to catch all the little hairs that were kind of hanging down, touching my face every time I got under here. Um, just a, a little nicer working environment. I noticed up here we may have, I don't know what, it looks like almost like a fiberglass. Somebody tried a little something there. Not sure what. They missed a spot right in here. This was no fiberglass, you can see. This was a torque box. This was one solid piece at one point. Quite thick, actually. Like as thick as that. That piece, this used to be that. It's gone, now gone. This piece is ready to come off. I'll put that down here. And uh, yeah, you can see the frame rail's a little, little punky. So, but yeah, that's for another day. Today we're gonna work on the transmission. Just not get ahead of ourselves here. All right. Okay. Now let's see if we can drain a little oil out of this thing. I have multiple pans ready, just in case. Uh, does it need to be on that fast? Let's see. Let's see if we can get a slower speed. I'll just loosen them off a little bit. Let's see if anything comes out. Oh, lost my socket. Starting to drip. That's good. Good sign. Come on. Two drips. Multiple drips. I had a screwdriver somewhere. Let's see if we can pop a little corner off here. Some heavy duty drippage happening. Okay. Starting. I just try not to drain it all at once. That'd be nice. I can't see where my bolts are over there. I'll have to go by feel. There. Oh, that one's easy. A few more. This is all going to come down at once, and I'm going to be a, end up with a mouthful of transmission fluid. I know what? I can feel it already. Oh, hit the pan. It's so nice having a big wide pan. Am I hitting it all? Pan that in there. Oh, yeah. I think we're getting it. All right. Crack her open a little bit more. Okay, well, we'll let that drain and we'll come back. Okay, let's see if we can get that cover off. It's drained quite a bit. Um, I got most of the bolts out already. Let's try not to. Oh, that's a stiff no, it's not out yet. Oh. So we can hold that up without dumping it all over the floor. That's really the key in this. It's a pan that has to clean up. So let's see. We can drop this. Oh, she's coming down. Need my strong arm on this one. Yeah, there we go. 
Not too shabby. Get some of the fluid out. Or drain most of it out. I'm gonna sit there and let it drip for a little while. Make it a little lighter. Um, yeah, this transmission's never. Uh, this was rebuilt in I think the early '80s and never ran. So the only time it's ever ran is in that first video. It got put in and never spun over. So it, uh, yeah, I guess it works. So I'm not going to really do much to it. Um, I may get a new pan for it just because it's pretty rusty and they're fairly cheap and available. It's a it's a C4 a Ford C4 transmission. So there's lots of parts available for these and uh, yeah, everything's readily available for this stuff. So that's always good. So we're gonna let that drip and drain a little more and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so it's dripped a little bit. Um, one thing I wanted to check on here is this thing right here. So this is Oh, what do they call it? Pressure regulator, I guess. So there's a vacuum connection on the back, and the, when you rev up the engine, it uh, changes the vacuum pressure and adjusts the rod inside here. So there's supposed to be a rod in here um, that is now missing. Um, but so that means it would, uh, if you got going, it would just shift really hard. So it, uh, every time you shifted. So that rod is missing. Who knows where it went? Uh, must have fallen out somewhere along the lines. I had my suspicions, but it was kind of loose when I put it back in. Um, but yeah, I'm sure if uh, I can probably find one somewhere or make one. And there's so much information on these transmissions out there, and I bet I know a guy that may be able to help me. So, all right, we'll uh, see if we can undo some bolt up front. Okay, well, we're up front now. The inspection cover was already off. Um, but yeah, I just turned, made sure I could turn the motor over and I realized that this has a torque converter drain on it. So we can drain the fluid out of this. It should just, this should just be a plug. Hopefully, I should get my hand ready. We'll see if anything comes out. I assume it will, I don't know. A little bit. There we go. Oh, she's coming now. Uh oh. That makes things a little easier. Let's have a drain on things. This is one of those moments where you're like, did I get did I get a big enough pan? I think so. This one should be enough. I don't think there's that much in it. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to slow down now. Yeah, but once this drains out, we can get those uh, torque converter bolts out. And yeah, a few more bolts. And this transmission will be pretty well ready to drop down. So, anyway, I guess we're going to let that drain for a bit. And I'll be back. Okay, so that took a while to drain. Uh, so instead of uh, just laying here contemplating life like I normally do, uh, I decided to, you know, these transmission cooler lines were in my way. So I thought I'd uh, remove those and then dump a bunch of transmission fluid on the ground. So that was good. But that's, uh, that's good now. Um, but yeah, now we can put this plug back in. Oh, well, we got a big shadow there. That's the worst. I think my left hand just... Does anybody else struggle with that? It's like it's the first time I'm using it sometimes. I just, I'm right-handed. My left hand, I know it's there. But a lot of times, like, I barely pick up a wrench. It's like it's been there for 42 years, but it's like the first time I've ever used it. Oh, that's not even the right one. What am I doing? Let's try this. This will go back in. Oh, God. 
No, nope, that's the wrong one too. Oh, what did I do? All right, I'm losing it. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I may have a wrench. Tighten that back up. Get that to where it needs to be. No more drippage. Need that dripping in my mouth. Be nice if it doesn't happen. All right, where was I? Okay, that's all drained. Everybody's happy. Get this soil cooler line out of the way. Is it happy? Who knows? We got a clamp there. Oh, it's dripping a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot on the floor over there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but. It just it just drained everywhere. It's great. But we'll get this out of here. Get that over there with the other one. Yep. And we'll see if we can start loosening some of these nuts off. Alright. You turn this engine over by hand without losing a finger. Okay, okay. Yep, there's one bolt, or nut, I should say. Okay. There we go. That was loud. Oof. Huh? One. Uh, Who put the spark plugs back in? Gotta get. <laughs> your ears. One more. All right. And one more. Oh, well, there's two drains in here. Oh, I already did one. I already loosened that one off earlier. Get that one out. Okay. So, that is good. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm winded now. That's not good. There's where I drained it. Okay. Yep. We've done a full rotation. Good. Okay. So now we can start pulling. What do we need? Uh, I gotta pull that starter off. There should be ooh, three or four more bolts holding that housing to the engine. So we'll uh, get doing on that, I guess. All right, well, it's been a little bit. I have all of the bolts out of the bell housing there and the only thing I left have left holding this thing in is the two bolts back here on the cross member. So we'll see if we can get that out. Oh, I was going to take that brake line might be right in my way. And you know what? I'm going to take that off first before I get hung up on there and it really, uh, things go south in a hurry. So I'll be back. All right. So I think it's almost ready to come out. I uh, got the jack under it now. I have one bolt that is being stubborn. I couldn't get it with my little impact, so I had to pull out the big guns here. And we're gonna see if it'll come out with this bad boy. She doesn't want to come out. All right. 
right. Well, that's fun. Oh, and loud. My God. It's a little tight. All right. Before I wreck anything, oh, I may have to. I'm going to try a bar. And then, if not, I may have to get some heat. I'll be back. Okay. Just after looking at it, that bolt or that nut is into a rubber mount. So that's why it won't come off, just sitting there vibrating. But from the looks of it, I noticed that these, uh, yeah, I didn't realize I could lower that right down. For some reason I thought those had to come off. But they don't. These bolts are already loosened. I thought I loosened these nuts. Oh, apparently I tightened them up again. Where did that go? Let's see if we can get those off. Right quick. One, two, this whole thing should lower right down now. Well, I'll have to pull it back a bit maybe. Well, I gotta get those bolts out. All right. Okay, so I got those bolts out. I'll lower it down and just kind of see what happens. I'll try not to drop it on myself. I feel like well, it's definitely dropping, so that's something. Okay, I have to a little more. Oh, there goes the bracket. Not moving. All right. So okay, let me figure this out. So what needs to happen is that that does need to come off. Is I got to pull it back, but I can't pull it back unless this comes off, and that nut's really holding me back. So. I'm in a pickle right now. It's disconnected from the front. So I might put those bolts back in just so it doesn't fall. And then I can come in this way. So it doesn't fall on me. It's fine. And it's over here. go anywhere right now so I can let that down but I gotta get that nut off so also my light died so that's something too it's really annoying I can't see anything that is bugging me how is that stay on there that just pushes in I think huh what if I just pry it off hmm I feel like is that a rubber nub that just goes on there. Sure looks like it. I wonder. Wonder, wonder. Where's my fancy pry bar here? Uh, let's see if I can back that up again. Jack that up. Stays there. Pull that out. Pull that out. See if we can. Or did that rebel just pop right out of there? Come on. Work with me. Come 
Come on. Get. Get off. Come on. Oh, you want to go. I can see you. You don't like being there. You just want to go away. Come on. Oh, that was loud. Oof. Oof. So loud. Why are you doing this? Oh, I don't like you. So there's a nut there. Oh, that is. What the hell? Are you supposed to put that on with this thing? I guess you will. I guess the nut's supposed to come off. All right. This is why. Rubber. I was hoping that would just pull right out. The rubber would let go. And then I could get this transmission out. Well, it's never easy. You know, I think it looks like it. Oh! Spoke too soon. See, perseverance, everybody. That's what it's all about. Don't be shy with the pry bar. Oh, you. Oh, I'm going to get you. Oh, yeah. I just need... I don't have a knife. I'm going to cut that. Oh, I'm going to have one here. Oh, where are you? Right there. See, when you got them on the run, they know what's happening. <laughs> it's fighting you. They know what's going to happen here. Gonna... Goodbye. Goodbye, rubber. Every piece of rubber on this car is rotten anyway, so I not like it was going to be any good. Look at that. And, yeah, that wasn't so bad. He's just off. Just nice and smooth. Smooth sailing. All right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if the transmission will come out now. Drop it down a little bit. It won't slide back. All right. Um, what can I do now? I don't want to tilt it down too much. Should kind of try and keep it in line with the engine. Come on, you. Yep. I can't reposition my jack at all. That's okay. <sighs> Wonder. Back and forth a little bit. He's a little more force. I think I got all the bolts right. Yeah. Let's see. It needs some persuasion. I think. All right, let me just take a look at this. Okay. Well, after uh, a lot of fighting with it, finally the pins were kind of seized. Oh, I'd take a screwdriver and a hammer and just drive it between the block and the bell housing. Give a little tap. It came out not too bad. So now it's moving freely. So hopefully I can pull it out and not drop it and hurt myself. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Moving much better now. Drop it down a bit. Come on. Come on, you. Oops. Do we need to go up? Up a, little, up a smidge. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Whew. Just, she wants to come out. You don't want to be in there anymore. No. 
Come on. A little bit. I feel like this is going to fall right forward. And my jack is in the wrong spot. Let's see here. Attached or am I out? Come back. Oh, I heard something. It sounded good. Down. Oh, still nothing. Come on. Oh. Oh, come on. Working. Can I go down now? Nope. Come on. Release. Ooh. Oh God. Oh. Oh. Are you out? No. Oh, you're so close though, I bet. You're just right there. I bet you're just one. Come on. Come on, you. Oh, nope, that's not right. Go back. Go back where you were. All right. My jack flipped. That's no good. Oh. There's no bueno. I need to get that jack up. Oh, hold on. Oh. Yeah, that's no good. All right, that needs to be way up further. All right. Let's see if I can reposition. Okay, so I found my problem. The torque converter is staying with the transmission or with the flywheel. <sighs> so it's probably rusted right onto the flywheel. So I'm gonna see what I can do to make it not, because that should be off by now. Like I only have should have to come out as length of, length of those bolts right there. I'm way back on here. So I'm gonna push it back the other way, get it back in place and see what I can do to get those bolts to release. Or not the bolts to release, but the, the torque converter to release from the flywheel. Okay, I'll be back once again. Okay, so I don't know. It's really on there. So. I think I've only got one option, and that's to uh, see if I can just pull it off and leave the torque converter on. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what else to do. I, it just will not budge. So I wonder if that shaft is, uh, yeah, I don't know. No, it should be just the bolts. I gave the, I put a nut on the end of the the studs that are coming out gave them a tap and they moved in a bit but it does not want to budge for some reason uh, so i'm gonna give it a tug see what happens maybe it falls who knows either way it's coming out centered very well. That's annoying. I'm gonna do this. Oh. 
Luckily, this transmission is not super heavy. Um, I think it only weighs like 100 pounds, so it's not like the end of the world. I can lift it with one hand, so it's not too bad. <laughs> I'll try and lower it a bit. See if we can get a good pull on it. Make sure the jack doesn't slip. I might be getting hung up on something. Doesn't look like it. Everything else is okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm getting caught on something. How we doing? How we doing down there? Did it move at all? Nope, still there. Great. Like it only has to come out like a half an inch. Right, the bolts are just right there. God. What a pain. What am I gonna have? Nothing touching, nothing grabbing. Yeah, the problem is the top. I'm hitting the floor. So that really has to come out of there. Well, this is annoying. It's official. And I keep every time I move under here, I get rust either in or around my mouth. Ow! Or in the back of my head. Oh my god. This is just a real pain in the ass. Come on. Work with me. If it wants to go. Bend in my flex plate, that's always good. Well, I can always replace those, I guess. Just one more thing. Oh, God. Here goes my light. I'm in the dark. Uh oh. Okay, we're back. We're back. There's just rust everywhere. Let me show you the pile of rust that fell out of my shirt just a minute ago. Um, let's see. Where can I get you there? Let's see what's happening. This is the problem, right here. So if I pry that out and it actually goes, it's gonna fall. There's nothing else holding the, the transmission in. Like it's moving. Like why? Why won't you? Why won't you go? Like is it? I can see it moves. Like it's going in and out. I can pull the thing in and out all day. Look it. Look it. <laughs> but you won't come off. Why won't you move? Why won't you move? You want to. I know you do. Like, do I need a little tension on it? Nothing grabs it. Sliding easy. I need to drop it a bit. Which way do I drop it? Drop it a bit. Put a little. Nope. Look at that. See, it wants to. It doesn't want to be there anymore. Like it really doesn't. But yet, yeah, there it is. Still there. All right. Oh God, light again. All right, we're back. You can see the stud there. It's right there. And it doesn't want to move. This will come in and out all day. Oh. Like it doesn't want to go. Jack up a bit. Why don't you want to move? This is really annoying. Jacking up a bit. It's gonna be one of those things where it goes pop and then out. Oh man, this is annoying. Hey, look at that. Huh? Now it moves like crazy. So now I feel like I'm up a little too high because it's moving the engine. But I went around and tapped every one of those and they moved a little bit. It just doesn't want to come out. Hmm. <laughs> what to do? Like turning the engine around doesn't seem to help any. I've done that a few times. Like, that does absolutely nothing. Well, it's not grabbing. It's just sliding on the shaft. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it moved a little bit. Make sure I'm just prying the shit out of my flywheel. Like I don't know what's holding it. Just hopes and dreams and rust probably. All right, I'm gonna regroup. I need to stop and think. Okay, well, oh, I feel like it started to move. I got a gap, which is more than I had before. Just, to, oh, holy crap. It just, oh my God, now what? It just moved, I'm not used to this. I have rust falling into my shirt. I gotta flip around here. This is, we have a breakthrough. Holy crap. Didn't expect that to happen. All right. Will it come out now? Are you gonna come out? Oh my God. Look at that, just like that. Simple, simple, easy transmission removal. There we go. Just like that, everybody. You know, just easy going. Nothing to worry about. Easy to do. Came out like just a dream. Just like that. Oh my god. Well, there it is. There you have it. One transmission removed. Oh my god. So why? Why was it stuck? That's what I really want to see here. I'm gonna guess. Um... Yeah, that's probably why. All that rust. Yep, that'll do it. Right there. That rust right around there. That was holding me up. It's surprising how little rust... Oh yeah, that's rusted in there. Surprising how little rust will just hold everything up. It doesn't take much at all. But it was just... Just kind of locked in there. But let me see if I can get this to hell out of the way and we'll take a look at that flywheel hold on all right well she's down I just want people to see see that pile of rust right there that is what fell out of my shirt and pants just it's just falling down under there it's really it's really something but I got the transmission here it is Here she be. That's it right there. There's that stupid torque converter. That'll come right off. Yep, nice. And a little bit of fluid left in there. Not bad. Yeah, it didn't look terrible in there. It doesn't look like it leaked. So that seal might be alright. Yeah. But let's take a look. Underneath, and you look at that flywheel. Oh, lost my light. Using a good flashlight. Boom! Here we are. Oh yeah, that was it. That was it right there. All that rust inside. That was what was holding me up. You can just see where it was sitting in there. Yeah, a little rusty, but not too terrible. Hopefully I didn't uh, bend it at all. Oh, but yeah, I think that's it for me tonight. Um, yeah, I've had enough. It was supposed to be a nice little relaxing, just removing your transmission video. And here we are. I'm out. And so was the transmission. All right, we'll see you next time.